As we have seen, drones have proven to be very valuable tools for the emergency responders. Yeah, just in the last two months, we've seen them used at fires, the Boulder shooting, and a drowning at Cherry Creek Reservoir. Well, now the Denver Fire Department is going all in on its technology. Only on four tonight, Connor McHugh joins us live tonight. And Connor, you met with the new drone team today. Yeah, and Karen, they are already seeing what these drones are capable of. Just last month, they actually helped crews keep a fire from reigniting at this church in North Denver. Moving forward, they say that's just one of the many possibilities they will have in keeping both the community and their crews safe. With billowing smoke and heavy flames, this fire at a North Denver church in early April took 18 crews to fight. But the key to extinguishing it was this view from up in the sky, which showed a late hot spot before it got out of control again. So we were able to save the property, increase our firefighters' capabilities and safety, and also use this technology that we have been working on for over five years. That catch was thanks to Denver's new drone operations team, made up of three drones and 12 people, five of whom are FAA certified pilots. Each, you got about 10 foot of clearance. Each drone can scan any scene from hundreds of feet in the air, even showing an infrared view. We can look at a fire situation and determine where the hot spot is. We can go to a water rescue situation to determine where maybe there is an individual trapped on a rock. Captain Greg Pixley says what the drones improve the most is safety. Our firefighters will be able to recognize where dangerous situations are that they were unable to from the ground level. Other metro area agencies have used drones for years, and for Denver, their trials and errors will be valuable. To use their expertise to help guide us. Every situation ahead will be different, but the team believes its potential is sky high. Now, the department says the drones and surrounding technology are partly paid for through grant funding. Moving forward, they're working to expand the team and staff it 24-7. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.